and in this video we're going to use on shape to create ISO number 12. Uh, to do this, first we're going to create this bottom base spot, uh, then we'll add in these couple holes, uh, then build up this upper portion and put the hole through there. Uh, so first let's see how long this base is, so if we start over here at the end, we can see it's 1, 2, 3, 4, and then another 1, 2, 3, 4 gives us a total of 8, and then an additional 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, so a total of 12 across, and then if we go up it's just 1, 2. Uh, so we'll go to on shape. And we'll create this part. So create a document. I uh, will name it ISO 12 and hit OK. Uh, once the screen loads, uh, we're just going to start a sketch. I'm going to put it on the front and turn my view to the front. Uh, then I'm just going to create a rectangle. So I'm going to start on the origin. I'm going to click to place it and then type in my two values 12 for the length, hit enter, and then 2 for my height and hit enter. Uh, from there, I'm just going to hit the green check and change my view just so you can see a little better and then hit the extrude button. So then I hit my object and if we go back and count, we can see it's got depth of 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, so I'm just going to type in 4 for my depth and hit enter. Uh, green check makes that shape for us. Uh, then we can see it's got rounded edges. If we go back to the shape, you can see it's got rounded edges and if we look, it's got a radius of one two uh, so it's got a radius of half the depth or two inches uh, so to add in those rounded edges we're just going to use a fillet again so we'll hit fillet and then we can click each one of those edges let me get these three and then turn my view to get the fourth one and then i'll return my view to the original view and we'll change that radius to two and hit enter and that rounds it off and to accept that value we just hit the green check uh, so now we have that base shape we were looking for uh, next we're going to add our holes just by sketching circles on the top and then extruding them out so i'm going to hit sketch again go on the top and then turn to the top view uh, then i just need two circles and i'm just going to start on my first one you can see if we want to we can get that concentric uh, constraint that's what we need to make sure it's in the right location or you could dimension it or add the concentric constraint afterwards uh, but since I got it popped up I'm just gonna go right there and my uh, diameter if you look on a circle we do diameter is going to be a value of 2 so I'm going to click and then type that 2 in and hit enter uh, same thing on the other side. I'll show you how to get the concentric on this one if you don't get it by find that location. I'm just going to make a circle with a value of 2 for the diameter. And then I'm going to come up here on the top. And where it says coincident, I can drop down and I can get a concentric constraint. Uh, then I'm just going to click my circle and then click my outer edge. And that moves it to that concentric location. Uh, you can see they're both black, so they're both fully constrained. Uh, so I'm going to accept that sketch, and then I'm going to extrude. So I'm going to hit the extrude button. I'm going to click inside both circles, and I want to remove because I'm cutting them out. And I'm going to change what it says blind to through all because I want it to cut through everything. Then I hit my green check, and if we change our view, you can see it's got those holes in it. Uh, so next we need this upper portion, so we need this portion that sticks up. We can see it's 4 in from either side, uh, so I'm going to start on the left side and just work across, and we can see it's got a distance of 4 across, and it goes all the way to the back. Uh, so to do this, again, I'm just going to do a sketch. I'm going to go on the top. I'll turn my view to the top, and then all I have to do is a rectangle. So I'm gonna, just going to put it somewhere on, and then we'll dimension the exact location here in a little bit. So I bring it over and down, and my value is going to be 4, and it's already set up 4, so I can accept that 4 as well. Uh, then I need to dimension it from the side. Uh, since I typed in that 4, it's thinking I'm trying to over-constrain it, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Since it's already dimensioned by being locked on the two uh, sides, coincident. Uh, then we need to dimension it to make sure it's in the center. Uh, so I'm just going to dimension... I'm going to go from this end point to this line and make that a value of 4. So it was very close, but it wasn't quite where we needed it. 
So once I set it as four, now it's fully constrained the online to change the black and we're locked in place. Uh, we hit our green check and I'll just change my view so it's easier for you to see as we extrude it up. Uh, we need to count how far up it goes. So if we count one, two, three, four, five, we need to go up a depth of five. So change that to five, hit enter, and we go up. Uh, then I'm going to add some more fillets. So if we look, it's rounded on the side. So I'm going to have to fill it the sides, not the edges, but the front and back sides. Uh, so hit fillet. Hit the front, hit the back, and we look at the fillet, and it's got a distance of uh, one, two from the edges. So I just need the same as on the edges on the left and right. It's going to be a two. Hit enter, and it gives that shape I'm looking for. Finally, I need to place that hole. I'm going to do that same way I did the two on the left and right side. I'm just going to draw a sketch, put it on that plane, turn so it's easier for you to see, and then do a so. I'm going to get that uh, concentric constraint, and it's got the same value again, so I click and type in 2 for my diameter. I use the green check, and then I hit extrude. It's going to be a remove because I'm cutting. I click inside the circle, and I change my blind to through all. I hit the green check, and that should give us ISO number 12. So if I change my view, you can see it matches this view here. Uh, so hopefully this helps in your creation of ISO number 12. Uh, good luck.